Raven Forest is just um, an urban forest, essentially. Um, but more than that, it would be a, I guess the best way to describe it is as a vegetative filter for those river. As you know, like this is um, up here, there are a lot of the tributaries. Um, this is the upper watershed area. Yeah, the idea for the forest actually evolved out of a way that we could create like a cooperative. Um, after doing some research on the land, I found out that it wasn't really owned by anyone, that it was um, public land. And so it'll, it, it'll look like a forest of rainbow colored trees. <laughs> There's lots of different species there. They would all be drought resistant or native. Um, and the way that I had envisioned it was doing it in color blocks. So the funding will come from the California Department or California Natural Resources Association. Uh, the Department of Energy, uh, the California State Resources Board for the water, um, you know, on the issues of water and uh, the Urban Forestry Network and CAL FIRE and uh, the railroads themselves, the passenger railroads, um, because we're going to make this like huge thing to see on the train. Um, and then uh, the Climate Initiative. Um, there's plenty of grant funding out there. I mean, there's so much money out there. Plus, we'd like to have a big thing with graffiti art to get it out of the wash and bring it up to the top and showcase a few artists there. So there's the potentiality is there to tap into almost every single possible funding for any kind of, this is like the ideal project is what the guy at the EPA uh, to regional nine headquarters told me. He said, you only come across a project like this once in a lifetime. 